Hey everybody, welcome back to Squirrel Stampede playing Minecraft. Finally back to gaming here over at Squirrel Stampede Gaming. Sorry for such a long, long delay of ungaming. Uh, what happened in January? Well, we all had colds. Oh man, I have been, I think I've had two, two or three colds in January and it has been so hard to get back to gaming. I was able to do the toy reviews really easily because um, you know, you can pause in between takes and cut out all the coughing and all the sneezing and all the hacking. But in gaming, you've got to like play for quite a while as I'm breaking um, dirt with a um, a piece of glass. That's weird. So yeah, I mean, it, it was like just not happening at all in January. So we're back here uh, at the end of January, February here, back to gaming, hopefully once a week. Um, it's just a, a tricky balance between toys and gaming as always. So today I'm thinking of building a swimming pool over here by this bog because this bog has been here from day one just soaking up all the water of Main Street Squirrel and I thought you know it would be cool to have a pool. I think a few people had said hey you should get a pool put in and so I've got a little Google things popping up here. Um, so everyone's like, you should b build a pool, and I like that idea. So I haven't even like um, like prepped this uh, episode really. I was, I've been wanting to um, kind of switch this game over to creative mode um, and just kind of finish it out because we're getting kind of long. I really want to get a new game going in caves and cliffs and just a better a better experience and I can have more people join in with me from uh, Squirrel Stampede Gaming. We want to get that going so I kind of wanted to start wrapping this game up. Um, I love this game but you know it's like if I can get more people to join in from my house. Am I back? Am I back? Oh my goodness. Technical difficulties today. That's just what happens when you don't game for a month. What a mess. So and actually just another reminder why I need to get out of this game and set up something new, something better with the family and Minecraft for the gaming channel. So that's coming up. I got to work on that for the next couple weeks, next month or so. Hopefully maybe I should make a goal by the end of February. Uh, the next Minecraft game or something we we get that get that squared away But today I want to build a pool like at that. I've already started pretty well. Do I have a shovel with me? I do yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a shovel. It's kind of broken. It's kind of breaking down here This will help clear this out a little more We've already got the water set up and of course we're gonna make this look like a squirrel, right? We're gonna give this a shape of a squirrel It'll be pretty fun and yeah, I mean, I want to see caves and cliffs in all its glory, and it's so fun. I've, I have a personal game going, a couple of them, um, and it's just so cool. And, and this game um, is updated, and I think I'd have to walk a while to find something if that would generate or not. I'm not sure, actually. I just know that this, whatever I'm playing on, is pretty insuperior, in, in, in is that a word? Uh, to what we could be doing so um, it's been a good run long run on this one and it'll be so fun when we get going on a new adventure uh, in, in a new land with more help if I have some more help um, from the Skrill Stampede team we will be doing great so anyway um, we just definitely have to add a pool and I definitely have to finish up Scorporate Towers where are we with the Scorporate Towers? Eh, it's about there I'd like it to be a little taller before we end this thing. And you know what? Another reason I'm going to have to move on from this game is I have been changing out my computers and my um, tech a little bit in my studio, updating, um, doing some different things, and I don't know how long I can keep this game going because of that too. So there's so many reasons I'm, I'm just moving around changing things lately, uh, just how it is. So let me finish clearing this section out.
Okay, I think I've done a pretty good job of clearing out this bog space for the new pool. And we've already have a nice little pool started here. How are we going to make this look like a squirrel? Do I have any imagination today? You know, it almost already kind of looks like a squirrel in a weird way. Like if I were to put some blocks like right here, I already kind of see like some squirrel feet. Um, I could kind of see something squirrely already if I just kind of move these blocks around. That could be the squirrel's leg, a side profile view. This could be like the squirrel's um, hand coming out, a paw, I should say. So yeah, let's see here. Let's kind of mess around with this for a little bit. I'm gonna have to definitely go farther back in here. Oh, we're gonna have to clear out some more, some more land in here. I guess we'll do that the next day because it's already becoming nighttime. I tried to figure out how to turn this game into creative mode and I haven't figured it out yet. Um, I might need to get some help. Um, I think I, I have to save a backup or save it as a new game or something and it won't let me and then turn it into creative and I kept trying and it kept just reseeding a new world the same exact world I believe I'm not sure so I'm a little bit lost there uh, maybe I'm going to have to read up on that let's go to bed and continue our pool here I have found it just working on Java Minecraft on my Mac has been so glitchy and problematic by the way do we have anything in the basement um, it's so dark in here it is so squark I keep thinking a zombie will like appear in here, spawn in there, but it doesn't. Ah, spider web. Um, yeah, let's. I'll just stay out of there today. Squirpit Towers has some some skeletons in the basement for sure. Ah, and the doors at Squirpit Towers are awful, awful doors. Okay, so where are we at with the pool? So I think I'm going to have to continue digging out this area first. So. Let me clear some more room so that we can then work on our squirrel pattern. All right, that's better. Why is there so much dirt here? What is going on? I've got way too many things in my pocket. I should build a chest. Maybe if I just put some of these saplings down, get get these out. These four four birch saplings were, will really do it to you. Filling up the land here. I'll have a little birch congregation right there. Now I can pick up all this dirt. Wow. Okay, so now we can continue on with this squirrel shape that I kind of see in my head, but I might just be crazy instead. Um, well, let's make this foot a little bit bigger um, let's expand his legs I might need to get a bucket with some water to really get this going how I want it okay so there's our squirrel foot this is our squirrel paw he's got an open claw or an open paw now he could be holding something maybe this could be like a little island in the pool so there he is, kind of holding on to an acorn. Although I don't have room for his tail. Do I have room over here to build his tail? I think so. Um, it's nice to use this existing bog a little bit, but at the same time, it's a little off center to what I wanted to do. Well, yeah, we'll see here. So here's kind of his neck coming up. If, if you can see what I'm seeing in my head, then you are quite connected to the stampede of squirrel and then this is his head coming out and more of his head or her head it could be a female squirrel too i haven't really decided that yet and so this is the ear of our squirrel okay so are we seeing this are we seeing this at all this is kind of like Greek sculpture making too. Well, I, I think I see a little bit of a squirrel there. Uh, hang on, let's get, I need to get a chest or something. I've got way too much stuff here. Oh, we got a chest right here to get rid of some stuff. Um, okay, what do I not need? I don't need some wool. I don't need nether quartz. I don't need these oak saplings. Um, 
I mean, don't need all this netherite right now. Is that for the Scorpid Towers, a netherite floor? Maybe. I don't need all these, all this glass. Maybe? Will I need glass? I'm not really sure what the pool floor will be. Maybe some of this stone. This stone is kind of the, kind of the best for that. I'll leave my food there. Uh, leave the apple up here. So that gives me a little more room to work with. I really had, I really had a, a full pocket of stuff. Ah, it's been a while since I've been playing uh, this version of this game, and then I have to remember my controls are all completely different than my Switch controls, and yeah. So now I gotta, I gotta kind of dig this out for making room for the tail. So let's do that real quick. Okay, that's probably as much as I can pull out before I start getting into the sheep pen there. And so now I can kind of get to this squirrel tail here. I'm not exactly sure how I want this. It's There's not too much room. And usually a squirrel tail kind of S's in a way. I mean, way back remember when we did our house and all of the complicated... Um, complicated things. Maybe I'm just gonna go up a line right now so I can kind of go, hmm, what do we got here? And then it's gonna bushy tail back in towards the squirrel. I probably should have drawn this out in my head before doing this today, but today was kind of on the fly. I was just like, I haven't done this in so long. Everyone's gonna just, everyone so wants to, you know, check out what's going on and I felt awful and I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run with it today and get something going. Um, what did I do? What did I do here? That is the weirdest tail I've ever seen. Okay, I think I need to go like this. No, no, keep that there. Keep this here. And then here. All right, so I think I think this might look like a tail from up high. I need to get some buckets of water. Oh, where did I, I got one bucket. Can I use my own pool to um, fuel this pool? Yeah, okay, so that's good news. Oh, as I fall down. Oh, there's, it's such a mess of water in here. It'll be nice to get this bog properly contained. I probably can even fish here if I wanted to. Look at that, that's looking good. There's a good spot to put some water there. Water flattening in Minecraft always, oh, I had it in my bucket. Water flattening in Minecraft always a challenge, isn't it? I mean, this could be like the Squirrel Rapids zone where you like get in and you, you, you go for a little ride, a little uh, flotation ride would be funny. Um, that's a good spot to put some water. Maybe here? Oh, it's almost flattened over there. And uh, maybe we could take a look at Scorpra Towers from up high in just a second and kind of test out what we did wrong and what we did right before it gets nighttime here. We got just a little bit of time to kind of go, okay, what, what do we need to do to fix this? And then I'd like to put like a little curtain of rock around it. I don't think we're gonna get a full pool. That's okay, so it's getting a little dark, a little darker. I don't think we're gonna get to a full pool cons construct today, but we're gonna get most of it for sure. And we'll definitely come back a couple more times here before I get the new setup going. I'm just kind of warning you that this game is probably gonna start winding down uh, just because it's it's too technically hard to keep this one going and I need I need to get on a better a better system so we'll figure that out getting kind of dark in here uh, let's go inside oh do I have any torches I can light this up real quick before I get blown up by a creeper there do that maybe one right there oh I got to get inside it's getting bad out here come on run Steve run I'm not Steve I'm me I'm Dan 
Why did I call myself Steve when I'm not Dan? No wait, when I'm not Steve, I'm Dan. Who am I? What am I? Where am I? What is this? Hello, you're watching Squirrel Stan Bean Gaming. And I'm Dan, and I'm running to my bed. Can we see the pool from this floor? Eh, not really. We'll, we'll head upstairs in the morning and take a look at what we've done. Morning time. It's morning time. Okay, let's head up to the top of uh, Scorpid Towers here, or how high we can get. We're still still under construction at Scorpit. You can see that, but we can maybe get an idea of what our pool looks from up here. <gasps> it's not bad at all. What do you think? That's not bad. The tail kind of looks like a weight or something. I could smooth it out maybe on the bottom, but I'm, you know, I kind of want to keep it as is. That's really adorable. It's too bad I couldn't have shifted the pool just a little bit central, but we can make like a little pool house or something on the side which would be great. Um, and I just, I really liked using the existing bog. I mean, I think that was kind of fun to do. So yeah, the squirrel's looking good. Um, how do I get down here safely? Um, this way. And you'll notice um, I placed blocks in the middle. Uh, did I do that last time? Ben Ultra said I should try um, scaffolding. Um, if I made a, a grid of scaffolding going all whoop, I don't, I don't want to go down there. Um, if I made a grid of scaffolding, I could use that as an elevator. That's not a bad idea, but back to this game, I don't have bamboo. I've never seen a jungle here. So next up, we are going to trim out the pool. So hang in there while I add a nice blocking system around the squirrel to make it feel a little more professionally built. Okay, I've kind of made a nice little curtain or a border. I don't know why I'm calling it a curtain. A, a border around our squirrel. Trying to get some of the water flattened out still. It's, it's mostly flattened out. I didn't expect it. There's always one little water zone. I see one over there. There's always one little water zone that's like, I don't want to flatten out. No way. But this time I think we got it. Oh, this is a fun little pool. Uh, maybe expand the deep end a little bit. Ooh, how do you do this uh, without drowning? Uh, I need a shovel. Uh, let's make another shovel. I think I'm out of shovel stuff. Oh, it's so cool. It's so tropical. Well, not tropical, but sort of tropical. I don't know what I'm saying. Over here, let's get to the crafting table in the most difficult location. Build myself a shovel. probably have myself a snack. I can't believe I have put in a whole pool and I have not eaten. <laughs> how, did, how does that happen in world, the real world? Is this the real world? I don't know anymore. I've been playing this game for so long. I don't know what's real and what's not real. Um, if you dig from above, I know that makes it a little easier. So this is kind of the deep end, the squeak end. The squeaked end. Um, I could go really deep. We'll, we'll keep the head shallow. Um, and I like these little edges so, you know, you can get in and out. Kids can get out easily. Um, but yeah, that, that works for me right now. Oh, look at that. I'm swimming. I'm swimming in my pool. Actually, it looks like I'm drowning. I'm drowning in my pool. Um, come on, dude. Will you swim for us? Will you swim? Having, I need to get out of the water here. I'm about to drown. Um, horrible angles here, Squirrel Stampede. Horrible angles. Um, he doesn't want to swim. Do I have enough water? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Why wasn't he not swimming earlier? Oh, oh, ow. I'm laid out on the bottom of my pool with a shovel. 
So there's some swimming action. Pretty neat. It needs to be just maybe a little deeper for easier swimming ability. This is all I can really do right now is back and forth, smashing my face against the dirt on the ground there. Uh, I, can, I can't really maneuver very well in here. But we did it. We built a pool. It is so basic, but um, so cool. So like I could totally add like a little pool house over there. Um, I could totally put in um, all sorts of things. Um, chairs, um, not doing the right button. I could put in chairs. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Why won't my character go back there? It goes, finally, I've been wanting to put a torch there for like 20 minutes. Um, I could put in lights at the bottom. I could uh, actually get rid of the dirt at the bottom of this pool, which would be nice. Uh, put in, oh, some granite, um, not some granite, but um, uh, some quartz. A quartz floor would look beautiful, but you know, then I have to mine all that. It's so dangerous. Um, let's take one more look at our squirrel pool from above and uh, just be at awe. Oh, I'm out of torches. Be at awe at this squirrel pool. Looking good. So yeah, I could totally update this a little more. I think I will. Maybe in between this episode and the next, when we come back, you'll see a really nice looking pool and uh, maybe hopefully some updates on me getting something new for Minecraft going, a new, a new world. That'd be awesome. All the way up here. I never completed that side of the, the stairs. We definitely have to finish Scorpid Towers too before we end of this. Such a beautiful world this is. Is it already getting nighttime? Oh my goodness, that was fast. So there's our pool. Might have been easier to see from the Squix Theater. Let's jump over to the theater before we end this. So back down this way. Woo! Probably should stop in for a nap real quick. Heading to the Squix. Oh, not down there. Not down there. Over and around. Yeah, this this will give us a better view. It's been a while since I've been up on the theater. Over here, there's a secret ladder. And here's the film projection room. I don't know how the film actually works, but it works. And over here to Squix. Up here to the top, we can get a better view of the pool. Oh, it's so cool! Not bad at all. Do you like my little squirrel pool? I think that's cool. So yeah, we'll dig out. I'll dig a little more of a perimeter around this way and out. It put a little house there, maybe a little pool house, towel, towel rack or something. Maybe like a little door there for the sheep to like come in here and, and swim if they want to take a swim lesson. Um, and there we go. So, wow, <laughs> what an episode. Finally getting back to playing a little bit. Thank you so much for kind of hanging in there through January, uh, letting us all mend up our voices and everything. That's a cool view of Scorporate Towers, by the way. I don't think we've seen Scorporate like that before. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're doing today, and we will be back to hopefully regular weekly gaming here, maybe a couple days off here and there to make sure I don't overextend myself, uh, but lots of fun. Today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not given us a squike or, or a squirrel lib or a squamit, always appreciate those comments coming in. And thank you, everybody, and we will see you next time.